Google Webmaster Tools Accelerated Mobile Pages Hello and welcome. In this video session, we're going to explore what these accelerated mobile pages are all about. Let's press on Get Started with AMP link and let's also press on Learn More. Search Console Accelerated Mobile Pages Report Will, will be shown to you if you are using AMP pages. And you can surely follow the links to learn more about it. But what I want to do is I actually want to create a sample page and show you. It's basically a new HTML specification and the sport is getting momentum. So let's create our first AMP page. Simply let's grab all this code, we could have easily logged into our web hosting manager and created a sample page. Instead, let's copy this and let's paste all that locally. Let's save it. You can call the sample page anything you want. Let's press on F12 to view the M page. So this is what an M page is, as in how simple it is to create one. If you've got a website that's already established, depending on the content management system that you're using, to be able to take full advantage of AMP pages, there is a couple of requirements Google wants us to follow. Let's imagine we're using WordPress. There is a plugin called AMP. It's created by Automatic, that means team behind WordPress itself. If you install this plugin and if you simply go and see a sample post this is what a sample post looks like but that plugin let's say AMP and request it and voila we have an AMP page surely it requires more development because even on mobile devices by default that plugin is generating this so it may load fast on a mobile device, providing good user experience. As far as everything else is concerned, as you can see, much is needed to really tap into the power of AMP pages. Now let's go and view that sample post again. So this is our sample normal HTML post. And this is our AMP page, AMP version of it. Now this is the use case for most websites. Let me press on Control U on my keyboard to show you this link here. This is a canonical link pointing back to the original post itself. Now on the original post, Google wants us to link to AMP pages, as in tell Google that there is an AMP version of it. Let me press on Control U on my keyboard, and that's what Google wants. As in rel m html. Because when Google comes to this canonical URL right now, as soon as it sees this link here, there's an M version, it's gonna be aware of this page. And on this page itself, once it sees this link, then it's going to be aware of the original page itself so basically if you follow this method and have those two link relationships then Google will end up showing you accelerated mobile pages report but once again you really need to spend that time and effort to plan your approach to creating AMP versions of your website. I thank you very much for learning with me. If you benefited from this video session, please do give it a like and share it and I'll talk with you in the next video session.